There are only a few spoken words that make any sense at all. Afraid so. from episode two and it's rather unfortunate because um, the uh, the lottery results appear on TV and the first number comes up and he matches the first number and thinks he's won the lottery <laughs> so what he's doing there is celebrating like a man because he doesn't know about the lottery because he doesn't live in the real world right exactly but, now you don't drink do you very rarely yeah I'm not much of a drinker because I would think from watching that he's he's been on the source with writing this <laughs> one well they can't really afford they they really really um, don't have two pennies to rub together I don't think they could afford much much to drink Really? Yeah, they are they are brassic. Okay. So, so for people joining us now, just yeah. just remind us: there's this guy Pompidou. He lives with his butler, doesn't he, and his dog. And his dog in a caravan. They can no longer afford to live in the house. Mm -hmm. The house is crumbling. So they live in this caravan, and they, it's just different adventures. You know, they're, they're looking for food one week. Um, Pompidou becomes a hoarder another week, and uh, uh, <laughs> the butler is trying to sell stuff. Um, yeah, and it's just fun, and it's a bit like I, I, I grew up watching Words or Gummidge, and so after Little Britain, which was so rude, I wanted to do a show that. That actually the whole family could watch <laughs> and uh, enjoy and that people wouldn't tell me off in the streets for corrupting their kids you see. and is it true that your mum thought that little Britain was actually a yeah, bit too rude she thought it was a bit too rude so what she feel about this one though? oh she likes this one this is sweet and the, it is sweet. And the gibberish it's a bit like if you've ever seen Pingu Pingu is my favorite TV show apart from the one show and Thank you. Um, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> So well. Thank you very much. I'm an actor. <laughs> and uh, no, Pingu is my favourite show, and I love the way they use gibberish in that. So it's a bit of Pingu, it's a bit of Wurzel Gummidge, it's a bit of Mr. Bean. It's all those things. A bit of morph in there, I suppose. A bit as of well. morph, yeah. It's pretty, and it's on at oh, six thirty. It's got a family slot. Which yeah, very so it's happy a family about. slot. All, the whole family can watch it. Six thirty. BBC Two on Sunday. Please watch it. My career hangs in the balance. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the nice thing. <laughs> about it is that there are few things that you can put a whole family to sit down to watch together. Yeah, you so can't let it, them watch this because he is things. mucky. This man is mucky. <laughs> I'm a terror. <laughs> terror. Oh, no. Maverick. Let me off the leash. Come on, please, someone. <laughs> and now, people may think, and straight away, some people said around here, and some ne'er do wells, they said, well, hang on a minute, if he doesn't, if there's no dialogue, it means he didn't have to write anything. But oh. of course, you do, don't you? Because Quite the opposite. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Yeah, no, I did. Um, yeah, we did write. There were there were a few of us who created it together, and um, I wrote some scripts, and then others we wrote together. And um, no, well, you, when you when you see the show, look, just watch it, okay? Just watch the show. <laughs> when you see the show, and it's very tightly scripted. But I improvised a lot as well, and then the edit, it took longer to edit than it did to film or write. Really? So, yeah, yeah. It's quite an ambitious show, but... Um, and when you pitched more, it to the yeah. people involved... Yeah. You know, what, what was that like? What was that? It was not the easiest of pitch. No, though, I, I said. Did you do a gibberish pitch? No, because the gibberish kind of came along a bit later on. It was just going to be silent originally. And when we announced <laughs> it, we said it was silent. And then I just kind of tapped into my instincts and, and just sort of followed my nose. And it just felt right to to use sound in that way. It's a very hard show to explain, but it's a wonderful show to watch. It's on at 6.30 <laughs> on BBC Two on Sunday, and literally, if you don't watch it, I will have to sell my house. I've worked very hard, so please watch the show. It's funny, though, isn't it? Because, like, it, I, straight away, we fell in love with the caravan, didn't we? Yeah, and, and the dog. And the dog, of course, the dog. And, uh, you know, like, on, on your favourite TV shows, like, break, on Breaking Bad, at the end of... Yeah. When Breaking Bad finished after five years, Everything went up for auction for a charity, and I already want to put a bid in for that caravan. Well, I, I will auction myself off at the end of this show. Really? Yes. <laughs> for charity or...? For comic relief. OK. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Extremely decent of you, Matthew. Yes, you can just put me in a cupboard. I've been, I was in the closet for years, so I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I doing everything down to the I camera? It's like you're not here. <laughs> it's very rude of me. No, I'm, it's fine. I'm very sorry. I'm yeah. very sorry. <laughs> Isn't that one Because you, you, you do live part of the time in America, don't you? Yeah. And yeah. when on sports shows, when somebody's asked a question, they, they, they don't answer the person, do they? They then turn to the it's, camera. Yes, it's shameless. Isn't Maybe it? this yeah. is what you, what's this is what going I'm doing. On. Yeah. yeah, it's nice over there. Uh, but I, I come back here quite often. I've got a flat here. and then So I tend to do my writing over there. But I like working over here. And I like this is where my friends and family are. So I just I go back and forth. Nice that you can mix it up, isn't it? Mm. Okay, and you haven't lost your accent. 
No, I, actually, I kind of wanted to be one of those like transatlantic Brits, you know, oh, that no, came back on the shows. <laughs> you know the way the Osbournes speak, that kind of half and half accent. Yeah. Well, I thought it'd be just great to come back on the show and just say how great it is to be back in England. <laughs> but no, I'm not there yet. Don't worry. Did you go to the Oscars? Oh no, because you weren't there for the Oscars. I wasn't you? there for the Oscars. Okay. No, I'm quite shy. I'm quite boring. I like to stay at home and watch the football and eat crisps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. They're so, they so yeah. funny in our area. They, they were saying, right, we've got extra time. We got extra time. Now they go, we've had enough time. We've had enough time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you, Matt. Thank you. And Matt.